Welcome to the tutorial video on Import Analyzer with InnoSlate. We will be discussing two methods on how to import a PDF document into InnoSlate. The first method will be using the plain text importer. This is specifically useful if the PDF can be selected. Open the PDF, select All, then copy the selection. Open Notepad and paste the selection into Notepad. Using this method is important as the tables or pictures that are within the PDF document will not be brought over into InnoSlate. They can be added at a later point and we will show you how to do that later on in the video. The first thing to do in Notepad is to clean up the document. Find headers and assign numbers. Create spacing between paragraphs. Remove any header and footer text such as page numbers, footnotes, or other unnecessary information such as document numbers. Take out table data or any placeholders for such table data that may exist. The benefits of doing documentation cleanup within Notepad or any other type of word processing unit allows you to do some context analysis on what you're actually going to bring into InnoSlate. This will help you further down the road as you're doing any requirements analysis, statement analysis, context analysis, or any type of information needed to help improve the knowledge of the document and be able to work with it within the rest of the project. Once the document becomes into a good state, go ahead and open InnoSlate. Select Menu in the upper left hand corner. In the third column over, select Tools. Under the Tools, there is Import Analyzer. At the Import Analyzer dashboard, select the Plain Text PDF tab. Choose to bring in the text as a statement or a requirement from the dropdown. Select the format in which Import Analyzer will dissect the information. Simple lists have no decomposition, while the multi-level lists have numerous layers of decomposition. Make sure you select the box to prepend prior to import. Once you're satisfied, select Next, and then copy the information from Notepad and paste it into the, the text field within the Import Analyzer.
do a quick preview of the information that's brought in to make sure it looks legitimate and safe to bring in, then select Next. This is the preview. This is a view in which Import Analyzer shows how the data will be brought into InnoSleep. If the preview is acceptable, select Save. You may notice during the preview that there is some cleanup that still needs to be done, but a majority of the cleanup should have been done prior to the preview and prior to the import analyzer. If at some point you realize there are issues that need, to need correcting, select Previous and edit them within the text box, then repeat the process. Selecting Save will bring the data into the tool, and the next view is Requirements view. If there were corrections within the preview that need fixing, they can be done in Requirements view as well. Requirements view can also be used to bring in the pictures within the PDF and associate them with the corresponding entity in InnoSleep. As shown, there is some correction that needed to be done noticed in the preview version of Import Analyzer that is now being done in Requirements view and will be updated in real time within the database. Requirements view is the perfect place to start creating your parent-child relationships and understanding the hierarchy as well as doing your context analysis, as shown in the video. The tool will also use a natural language identifier to view the information or the language or the text that is within each entity to identify if there is requirements language in which the tool needs to identify. As shown in the video, there are a few requirements that were identified. From here, we can now start to use the Snippet tool to select the images from the PDF and either copy them or save them to a folder, and then either insert or paste the image into the corresponding entity within the Requirements view in InnoSlate. If there are data tables within the PDF that need to be entered, you can create a table within the entity and enter the data as shown on the PDF into the data table directly. Even with cleanup prior to the import, InnoSlate may not recognize special characters at times. There needs to be a post-import scrub to ensure the data is ready to be analyzed.
Once your cleanup has been done and your requirements look satisfactory to your standards, you can now move on to analyzing the data and working with that data in InnoSlate to further enhance your project. And this concludes the PDF to plain text method using import analyzer into InnoSlate. The next method we're going to introduce is the conversion of the PDF document to a Microsoft Word document. Any PDF to Word converter will be fine for this example, in which for this case, Acrobat Reader with the export PDF converter plugin as shown. Again, open the PDF, use the conversion tool of your choice, and convert the PDF to a Word document. When the conversion completes, open the Word document and start the cleanup process. Again, this is to include removing obscure characters, cleaning up pictures, correct spacing, numbering formats, section headers, footer notes, and more such as page numbers or document numbers. There may be times in which you run into formatting issues between the conversion, such as what is shown in the video here. Time is always a concern, and it must be made aware that if the conversion is taking a lot of time to clean up, a decision point must be reached. The decision point is clean up time in Word after PDF conversion versus plain text parser and copy paste pictures and tables. The next part of this video is showing a somewhat clean PDF conversion to Word with minimal cleanup. This is to show how Import Analyzer can bring in Word documents with graphics and tables and correlate them with the correct entity. Again, convert the PDF to Word, review the conversion, and fix the document. Once the document has been cleaned up, open InnoSlate, go to the menu, and select Import Analyzer, as before. Upload the Word document. Select Next after the upload progress as Done, and preview the import. Select Save to bring in the data.
As you can see, the pictures and tables have been brought into InnoSlate cleanly. And this concludes the InnoSlate tutorial for Import Analyzer importing PDF documents. If you have any questions, please contact support. Their contact information is shown on the screen. Once again, thank you for choosing InnoSlate.